So as long as you have an, a wave in deep water that is formed to the same profile, same shape as an ocean going wave, if you give it shallow water and a reef and a correct shaped reef to break over, you're gonna get an ocean-like wave. We don't continually push the wave and keep adding energy to the wave. We create a swell and it travels in deep water and then we give it a reef to break over. And so that is how you get all the fancy things like the particle motion and the trough. The other key factor is the reef that you give it to break over. We have one swell, let's say it's just one ground swell that's coming in at this time, and then we give it different reefs to break over and we have it coming out of deep water into shallow water at different rates. So like a, a wave like Tahiti, not gonna compare our wave to, to Chalpa or, or anything, you know, it's, uh, that's not fair, but you know, that wave comes out of deep water and ledges really fast and you know, the, the, the symmetry of how it hits and what have you is, is why you get that really slabbing wave.